Hi, it's Lee from Silverback Runner, and I just want to share with you a story of two heart rate monitors that I bought over a year. The Garmin HRM Run and the Wahoo Ticker. So, a bit of a sad story to begin with. I bought the Garmin HRM Run back in June 2019. I'm a real Garmin fan. I love my Garmin watch. I've got a 245, I think it's fantastic. But one of the things that isn't so fantastic with running watches is their heart rate, <clears throat> excuse me, their heart rate monitors. A friend of mine was running one day and he said, oh my God, my heart rate's gone up to, I think it was like somewhere like about 190 now. The guy's only was jogging and was about 35 and is very fit. So I said, well, either your heart rate monitor on your wrist is wrong or you're having a mild heart attack as we speak. So they're legendary. They are legendary for being inaccurate. So I wanted to do more some steady state running where I was utilizing my heart rate more. And of course, if your heart rate shooting up to the levels I've just been talking about, then you're not going to get the results. So I looked at, I didn't really look at a lot of heart rate monitors to be fair. I thought I want a Garmin. I've got a Garmin watch, so I bought the HRM Rum, the Garmin HRM Rum. I think it was on some sort of offer at the time. I think it normally is around about between £79. I think at the moment on Amazon is about 65 I think I might have got it for about 50 or something like that. And happy days, it went really well. And like all good products, you don't really have to think about it. I just was using it. This whole thing about heart rate accuracy, I'll, I'll deal with this now. I see loads of stuff on YouTube. People have got two heart rate monitors and compare one to the other. And my question is, which one's the benchmark? Which one is the accurate one that you're comparing with? I think really, unless I'm in hospital, I don't really care about the absolute accuracy. What I care about is the consistency. Once you've got one, and you're running with it, like I said earlier, if it's inaccurate in the absolute, in the respect that if you're jogging along, you're talking to somebody else, and your wrist heart rate monitor on your watch says it's 190 beats per minute, that it's wrong. But in the nuanced sense that you can run, and I can look and say, I want to keep my heart rate under 130, if my heart rate monitor is fairly consistent, who knows, another heart rate monitor might say 128, or another one might say 132. So I'm not going to get into that, because I don't think there's any absolute kind of solution, except that obviously you get loads of YouTube videos, and I leave other people to make those videos. So on that basis, the, the Garmin HRM RUM was good. It really worked really well. So some specs for you guys that like some specs. I bought it because it provides or provided six running dynamics. Cadence, which I was very interested in. Vert vertical oscillation, ground contact time. I didn't look at those so much. Stride length. And the thing is, I'm always a little bit cautious, yet again, how much something up on your chest can measure what's happening with your feet. I think probably something a pod or something in your shoe is probably going to be more accurate. I haven't used anything like that myself yet. I'm looking at utilising stride at some point. I will look at that. But yet again, interesting stuff. It was a water at a water rating of 5 ATM and it weighed 21 ounces. So all good, happy days. The compatibility at a 245, easily compatible with it. All I would say is check on their site because I don't think it's can compatible with Android, but obviously some of the Garmin, the earlier Garmin watches, I'm not sure if with the Ant Plus it's compatible. And I'm not gonna run through the whole of those in a video, but because I checked the other day and there are loads. But for me, it, it was very easy to get set up and working. So I bought it in June 19, and I'd replaced the batteries once in that time. And then in July 2020, 
things really started to go very pear-shaped. I started getting massively high spikes in my heart rate. I'd come out of my sat, my hair salon, I'd put it on, i jogged down the road and it was telling me my heart rate was 190. I took advice from the people, I cleaned it, which I'd done anyway, I changed the battery again, but there was no stopping it. And to be honest with you, I was so fed up that I just threw it in a drawer and forgot about it. I suppose I could have contacted Garmin, but I started checking on YouTube, on, on, on Google, and suddenly, where I hadn't really done a lot of research, I started to see that a lot of people were having problem with Garmin heart rate monitors and straps. And I've never had a problem with their watches. I think they're brilliant. But you started to see a lot of people saying they weren't that well made, that there was corrosion inside, which I never checked for, but I've seen videos where they've gone inside and it's corroded within the workings of the the actual monitor, the bit that where, where you've got all the electronics. So I didn't go down that route and I just went back to using my wrist heart rate, but it frustrated me so much. And <laughs> my wife was really taking the mickey out of me because she just said, buy another strap, stop messing around. But I'd been demoralized by how the other one had let me down. I just couldn't be bothered. But in the end, the inaccuracy of the wrist heart rate monitor got me out there. But I, this time I was a lot more cautious and I was looking at Garmin again. No, I looked at that, is it the Kospu heart rate monitor. I looked at some of the Polars, the Polar H10 I think I looked at. And really, in the end, I approached it quite negatively. I looked at it in the end and I thought, I want to get something that if it does break within a year or six months, then the investment's pretty low. And also if it breaks really quickly, I get my money back really quickly. So obviously buying on Amazon was a was a first. So on, I think it was the 25th of October, my notes tell me here, I bought the Wahoo ticker. Now the ticker X would have been nearer to the original spec of my Garmin because it had all the kind of fancy features. But by then I really wasn't that bothered. I just wanted something I've, I felt that the less it did, the less likely something could go wrong. So I decided to go for the Wahoo ticker in the end, and which is a pretty bog standard heart rate monitor. But it's also in that cheaper end. I think I bought it for about £39. It's got Bluetooth and that technology. And one of the things I really liked is you can connect, it's got three options to connect up to three other things by Bluetooth. So if you've got your phone connected, you're not stuck just with a phone, you can connect to other things, which I don't personally use a lot because I just use it with my watch. But if you're running on a treadmill or using other things, then that could be really useful. And though I've only just found this out, I've never realized it's water It's water resistant as, as well. But the thing was, it, did what it said on the tin. It worked out of the box, connected really easy with my Garmin. I utilized the app. I don't really use the Wahoo app, but what it's good for is finding out if you've got updates on the chest strap, but I don't really use it. I just use it with my Garmin for running, but some people could use it. It gives you a lot of information in the app. Some people love all that. And of course you can run with it if you wanted to, if you want to run with your phone. But personally, I just use my Garmin 245. So it's very easy to use. You've just got, you click on a slow blue flashing light. It's, it's searching for a connected device. In my case, my, my um, watch. Fast, full time blue flashing light. It means that your device, in my case, the watch has been found. Flashing blue light, it, 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 a fast flashing blue light. It is now connected. And last but very importantly, the red, each time the red one flashes, that means a heartbeat's detected. Yeah, let's just hope that baby keeps on flashing. I found the compatibility with Garmin absolutely fine. It comes back to this old chestnut about accuracy. All I will say, and I can't prove which one's more accurate, but what I will say is for some reason the ticker seemed to 
a lot is back to this old chestnut of accuracy. The only thing I will say with the ticker uh, was that it seemed to be a bit lower. So, for instance, if my Garmin and said my heart rate was 132, the ticker seemed to be saying that it was 128. But you've got to remember, there was a little gap. I might have got fitter in that time. But it comes back to this thing about consistency. There was one thing that I haven't liked about the... And I'll just grab it here. There's one thing I haven't liked about the Wahoo. Is when I start running, what will happen is I know... So, for instance, I walk down my road with my heart rate monitor on. It connects. It says connected. I can see my heart rate is 65, say. I will start running and I know that my heart rate might start slowly come up to say like 120. Sometimes it will, I look down and it will say my heart rate's 189. Now, either I call an ambulance there and then or it's not 189. And this really irritates me and I used to tap the front of this and try and I don't think it's anything to do with that. I think it's a connectivity issue sometimes. So sometimes you need to clean out these little bits in here through here also make sure on days where and this is where i found it where i don't sweat a lot and where it's been very cold if these if the sensors are dry and you're dry i think it's a connectivity issue so if you do get it because this comes off like this so it all comes off so you can clean out these buttons here if at the moment mine look quite clean and everything and then you can just snap it on and then the batteries in the back there so it's quite a neat little thing i've not had any problems with it apart from that that's a bit annoying and sometimes it'll be really high or sometimes it's horrendously low so off of 10 minutes it says my heart rate's 80 well yet again i know it's going to be higher than that but I think it is a connectivity issue and it it's not something that happens consistently. It just happens now and again. Now, I have read that some people say when either running or on a treadmill that this thing pops out. I've never, ever had that happen. However, I am hideously skinny and I only run in them. In So perhaps some other forms of exercise... Perhaps if you are bigger chested and you flex and suddenly burst out like the Incredible Hulk, then maybe that could happen, but it hasn't happened to me. So conclusions. I bought the Garmin HRM run with the idea that I was buying, like the watches, a quality product. Their Garmin products, even their basic, I think their dual starts at about 50 odd pounds. Now, when you consider the Wahoo ticker, which is the basic out of the Wahoos, really, is about £39 and it's water resistant, then you can see where I'm going with this. Now, if you want more bells and whistles, I think for about £60-ish, maybe a bit more, you can get the Wahoo ticker X. So... I think in this one area, I have to say that Garmin isn't playing the best it could play. I'm sure it could change. It may have already changed. And I'm a bit of a Garmin fanboy. I won't say never, but for £39, if my Wahoo ticker packed up and had to buy another one, that's not the end of the world. And if you look on Amazon, I think the problem at the moment is through all the manufacturers, pretty much. You get loads of positive reviews. Now, I know you're always going to get some dud models, one-offs. However, there seems to be also a consistent scenario with most heart rate straps that you get a lot of inconsistency. I don't mean from readings always, but just the products themselves. So... In the end, I wasn't willing to invest 70, 80 plus pounds in a heart rate monitor if I'm going to have to replace it in a year. I'd prefer to pay a little bit less, 
But then again, I didn't want rubbish. So I ended up with a Wahoo ticker there. There may not be much of a, it might be faint praise, but at the moment, six months on, still going strong. So no complaints there. But my point is, if it wasn't, then I think, well, fair enough, I might have got my 30-odd quid's worth. So bottom lining it, I think the Wahoo ticker gives you good value for money. It is very consistent with its results. It syncs nicely with Garmin products and Android. It's water resistant, though I can't say I take it in the shower or anything. I just get it because I live in the UK. It's always raining. And it's, I think, well priced. So whereas I feel the Garmin HRM run gives you a lot of bells and whistles. I enjoyed those bells and whistles, but it's not a well-made product in my experience and a lot of other people's. And I don't think it's worth paying the premium price. I think other companies worth mentioning, as obviously Polar was another one I looked at and I would look at again. But still, yet again, you still get, it's just the territory. You look on Amazon, you still get a lot of reviews about inconsistencies. But I think to finish off, it is an area of inconsistency. I think heart rate at its core is inconsistent. We're all different on a personal level. And then you you put in the products themselves and they're going to be inconsistent. And all I want is consistency from the product I'm wearing for me. I can't say I can compare it with you or compare it with another product. I just want the consistency that I can put the, the Wahoo on. It finds my Garmin. I run down the road, gives me consistent results. I can finish and I'm done. And that's what I want for it. And I think for £39, it's worth it. So anyway, hope this has helped. And um, I'll leave some uh, links in the comments. They are affiliate links. So we're all big, big and grown up about this. So I do get a commission if you buy via my link. And it doesn't cost you any more. just helps me out. Keeps my beard in beard oil or whatever. Anyway, thanks a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and hey, perhaps even subscribe to the channel. Why not? Thanks a lot. Bye for now.